Today, we're talking yarn. I'm doing a comparison between Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn and this Milk Cotton Super Saber. What is Milk Cotton? So Milk Cotton is supposed to be a fiber that is made from protein that's actually found in milk. And you may have seen it as protein powder. Things that you, you know, just a powder that you mix to make shakes. But how do you turn that powder into something like this? I really couldn't find anything and I decided not to waste too much time in looking for it. So sorry, if you want to go down that rabbit hole, feel free. Okay, if you're wondering why I'm comparing these two yarns, let me give you a quick story. This is the yarn that I would buy all the time. I would wait for Hobby Lobby to have a sale on this brand and then go there and buy whatever color I thought I needed whatever color I thought I needed. So anyway, this is the yarn that I would use to make all of my amigurumi projects. I don't have access to that yarn. And you can learn a little bit more about my story. I'll leave a link to a video where I put a few things together. But anyway, I have to find something else that I can use that is local. There's this shop called Osana Yarns. It's really not easy for me to get to her shop. So I finally placed an order and had it delivered. Let me do a quick comparison for you. With this Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. They're gonna, on the, on the yarn label, you're gonna find that they recommend a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're also gonna get about seven ounces of yarn, which is 355 yards. And then you've also got the comparison in grams and meters. So that's 199 grams and that's 325 meters. This is categorized as a weight for yarn. The time that I purchased this, it was $4.99. So that's what you get when you buy this thing. Now for this yarn, the comparison is going to be a little bit difficult because it, it just doesn't have the same yarn label. So what you're going to get is um, a thickness that they call five by two millimeter. Right off the bat, I can tell this unravels pretty easily, um, which means it could create problems as you crochet. The hook could end up splitting the yarn as you make your stitches. So anyway, okay. Okay, so that's the thickness. They recommend that you use a 2.5 to 3 millimeter hook size, so something a little bit smaller. The weight is supposed to be 200 grams and it is 360 meters. When I do the math for you off camera, I'll put it up here that shows you the comparison of dollars. Let's take a look at this yarn and find out how do they compare against each other when you start crocheting. For this comparison, I'm going to crochet the same two rounds with both yarns using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'll give you my thoughts as I crochet and then we'll measure both pieces and see how they compare. I'm starting with Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. I found that this 3.5 millimeter hook is just the perfect size for it. The stitches I get are just the right size. You can see all the details in it and it's tight enough to keep all that stuffing inside your work. I think crochet amigurumi looks much better than knitted amigurumi. Sorry knitters, but you guys might have something on us when it comes to garments. That's just my opinion. Okay, so I'm putting six single crochets into the ring for the first round, and then I'm gonna increase in each stitch after that to complete the second round. If you haven't used this yarn before, you should give it a try, or at least if you're in the US, because it is really soft. That's why I started buying it in the first place. If you crochet amigurumi using this yarn, the person who gets the finished item will just wanna cuddle their new bestie for sure. Okay, now I'm gonna crochet the same rounds using this milk cotton yarn, and just remember, Remember, it's got a little bit of acrylic in it. I have a feeling the finished piece is going to be a little bit smaller because this yarn just seems a little bit thinner than I love this yarn. It's crazy how soft this milk cotton yarn is though. It feels almost too soft to hold on to, like it's going to slip through my fingers as I crochet. I can't figure out if maybe that feeling will go away after I've worked a little bit and the piece gets bigger. It also feels like maybe they finished the yarn by putting some kind of coating on it that makes it a little waxy. Um, that's kind of weird, but that's the, the sense that I'm getting as I work with this. But you know, the good thing about all that is that I don't think I'm going to ever hear my hook squeaking as I crochet. You know how your hook rubs against acrylic yarn and squeaks? It can be super annoying and makes you want to stop crocheting altogether. I don't like that the plies in this yarn seem to pull apart easily. So far it isn't too much of a problem, but I can see that it could split as you continue to work with it. Yep, there's a split right there. If you don't hold this yarn tight with um, a good amount of tension, I can see how your hook will just 
sneak through all these plies and create a problem for you. But I think this yarn would be perfect for baby blankets because it, it really is super soft and if I could I'd make myself a snuggie with it but I probably need too many skeins of yarn for that. Okay now that both rounds are done let's take a look at both of them side by side. I think the stitch definition is about the same with both yarns. I really couldn't compare these two yarns in the same color or a similar color because I'm all out of the grayish, uh, that grayish color in the Hobby Lobby's I love this yarn. Sorry, but this is what we've got and let's just go ahead and measure them. I'm going to start at the top of the last stitch from that second round and just try to go straight across to the other end and see how big each piece is. Okay, this one for milk cotton is about one inch and let's take a look at the other one. Wow, I wasn't really expecting that. They're actually about the same. Okay, so first impressions after crocheting just two rounds. I, I think it's a good start. I really think that this yarn could be a problem with the unraveling. You may end up with these threads really unraveling on you, um, but if you're crocheting and maybe you start with a slip knot or something like that, or once you get started, um, I think if you keep good tension, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the, that other weird thing that I mentioned about it being too soft to hold on to, that's just a personal preference. Or, you know, to tell you the truth, I've never worked with anything other than acrylic yarn. So that could just be me being picky or me feeling a little uncomfortable with something new. But I think if you were to give a child a toy the exact same thing, they would probably want this one. It really is so much softer than this acrylic yarn. Anyway, those, those are my first thoughts about this milk cotton yarn. And if you have an opportunity to get your hands on some milk cotton fiber, I would highly recommend it. Give it a try. It's super soft. I haven't tried yarn that is 100% cotton, but the feel and the texture of this makes me think that it's gonna be easier on your hands. Um, Elise, I'm talking about you. I think some of y'all may watch her channel. Elise Rose, she mentioned that cotton yarn can be a little bit difficult on her hands and that's why she doesn't really work with it, or at least that's one of the, the videos that I saw. Um, Elise, give milk fiber yarn a try. Milk fiber cotton yarn may work for you. And hopefully, as you can see, it still gives you that good stitch definition that you can expect from acrylic yarn. And this one does have a little bit of that acrylic in it, but like I said, it is just so much softer than Hobby Lobby. And so I think the more that I work with this and once I actually produce something, it's going to really help me understand a little bit more about this. So maybe I'll film myself recreating this pattern. I'm gonna be recreating this guy right here. It's gonna be super soft and there's nothing more like having a child cuddle with a lovey that you made, that you put all your hard work into and just seeing them enjoy it, cuddling it at night, something that comforts them, something that they can play with. And that's why I just love that design because it's a stuffed animal, but it's also something that can be kind of like a blanket and just super soft and uh, well, I can probably ramble forever. When that pattern is available, I'll let you know, and maybe I'll bring you along as I recreate that pattern. You might find snips of it here or there on the, on the channel, but there is a lot going on for the channel and for my crochet business. If you haven't watched the video, take a look at that one. You'll see what's going on, what I'm working on and, and what I'm doing. So I think that's gonna be it for now. Osana Yarns, thank you for being available and for delivering things so quickly. So that's gonna be it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hang in there for more videos. Thanks for watching. Try Milk Carton, Milk Carton.